Hey YouTube, this is Bill. I am continuing my testing with my new watt meter, and I'm using the watt meter to see what is the minimum external power source I would need to run my Pro 32 with the sub one, and today I'm using the sub two. So I'm starting off the testing with just the subs. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, I've already tested the sub one by itself. So today I'm testing the sub two by itself. I just played a track and it's the um, heaviest track base content I, I own. And here is my results. In watts, 182.7 watts. And that was at 98.8 dBs. Here's the setting on the gain. On the sub two, I have it at 130. And I'm gonna tell you right now, um, it was not on red and the subwoofer, the woofer itself was not bottoming out. I didn't hear any metal on metal. That's something you wanna listen for because on previous tests, I didn't see any red, but I heard a noise that sounded like uh, the woofer was reaching it's excursion limit, and when that happens, you're starting, you can damage a woofer. It's not recommended. So, at 130, this is louder than I would ever play this up to. Actually, uh, when I integrate it with the Pro 32 column, I usually play it at 11 or 1030 to get the best in integration. And if it's a really um, heavy gig, I might boost it up to 12, but never over 12, actually. It just, it's just too much. So this is, this is a max dB testing, and I really am amazed to get this figure 182.7. So again, if you go back to the previous video, the sub one maxed out on the same track at 194.2 at 95.8 dBs. So it was less loud, 95.8 dB compared to 98.8 on the sub two. And the sub one at 194.2 was using more watts. I don't understand it. I guess maybe um, an electrical engineer who's watching can chime in. That is something I am not. I'm just playing around with this, trying to figure out uh, electricity for the first time with these. But it's it seems like the, the larger unit pulls less power. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna play another track and I'll demo it live for you. See how I'm getting these figures. Okay, ready for the sound demo. Uh, the track I'm playing is by Marcus Miller, Gene Pierre. I'm not going to be playing the high end, just the subwoofer. So I'm hoping there won't be any copyright infringement. I'm gonna be using my trusty DB meter and I'm using the Kumon Watt meter at high, so it's gonna show me the highest watts that the subwoofer is pulling at this pretty heavy bass track. I'm gonna start off the gain at about 11, and then I'm gonna bring it up slowly, watching to make sure I don't go to red or hear any bottoming out. And then I'm gonna pull it up to 12 noon. We'll see how that works. My mixer is on Unity, and I think we're ready for the track. So at that volume, 90.6 dB, that is pretty loud for a subwoofer. And here we are at 11 o'clock. As I mentioned before, I'll often pull the sub two down to 1030 to have a nice integration with the L1 Pro 32. I don't want too much heavy bass. And here we're only pulling 58.7 watts. Kind of amazing, I, you know. You would think it's a thousand watt subwoofer you would need something close or, or more to run it on an external battery power. But this testing is telling me differently. 
Okay, we're gonna keep testing the same track and I'm gonna push it up to 12 noon on the gain and see what happens to my watt, watt usage and my dBs. I don't know if you saw that or not, but here we are at one o'clock and I did see a flash of red, that peak meter. And I immediately, that's when I cut the video. And let's see what we got on the watt meter. Still only 133.8 watts, 95.6 dBs. So that's, that's your limit. As soon as you see any red, you definitely want to back it off. And as I said, I never play uh, the sub two past 12 noon. So this is just for testing purposes. So I'm going to back it up again because I never play anywhere near clipping. So I'm going to put it where my maximum would be on a sub two and that is 12 noon. I'm going to play that section of the track again and see what kind of um, power pull we get. And we'll see what kind of dBs we're pull maxing out at too. So there's our results, 92.9 dB, which is very, very loud. Remember, there's no tops playing with this, just a subwoofer. And we're only pulling 99.5 watts. So that is a pretty easy load for most uh, external power. Now, I would think you would maybe double that. So that's 100. So maybe a 200 watt unit would run it. But to be safe, I'm not going to use anything less than uh, 300 watts. You always want to build in room for uh, peaks for other tracks. And I do have a more powerful uh, external power source, which is 400 watts. I think that's the one I would use just for complete uh, headroom, room, room for all situations. And of course, the, uh, the larger the wattage, the longer the unit will run. So there you go, interesting test. And what really interests me is the fact that the sub one actually pulled more watts. That, that was very interesting and I like to talk to some people to figure out why that happened. Maybe it's just uh, the, the bigger amp of the sub two is more efficient. I really do not know. Okay, this is Bill. I hope you enjoyed this video. The next video will be um, to hook up the sub two to the pro 32 and then we'll see uh, how the whole system pulls because obviously you're not going to play just a subwoofer so we're only halfway there okay hope you enjoyed later <laughs>